Nunavut are hoping the next government can make real changes to improve their quality of life, including protecting and promoting Inuit language and culture, ending the suicide crisis, and improving health care in remote communities. Inuit in Rankin Inlet raised issues important to them. For me, it's important that my fellow community members of Rangan Inlet who are affected by addiction get help and treatment because those who are affected, some don't have a place to go and others are cutting their life short by suicide. I am constantly hearing about the housing crisis. There are too many people waiting. I expect the next government to create more housing. Another major issue across Nunavut, infrastructure, hitting home, especially for residents in Iqaluit, dealing with the city's water crisis. And Juanita, I'm guessing that many people across Canada tonight likely expect, well, there's an election, there's going to be a new premier pick tonight, but that is not how elections work there, right? That's right, Adrian. It's a consensus government. There are no political parties. And each candidate runs as an independent elected by the people. Now, the Nunavut legislature then holds a leadership forum soon after the election, where MLAs will pick the premier from that leadership forum. And Adrian, we know that the last premier, Joe Savikadak from Agvayat South, wants the top job again. He was acclaimed in his writing. So now now he just has to convince his peers to select him as premier once again. All right, we'll be watching Juanita Taylor in Iqaluit tonight. Thank you, Juanita.